Hey folks, Vision Preparedness here. Welcome to day 13 of the 30 Days of Preparedness by YouTube Preparedness Community Collaborators. Today, I wanna to talk to you about be ready for an evacuation, planning and execution. We all know that you may decide that you need to leave your house due to a natural disaster man-made disaster or anything that could put you and your family in harm's way you hear a lot about folks talking about bugging in but also have a plan if you have to bug out or in other words evacuate your premises always 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 use caution and do everything you can to protect yourself and your family so just like we all learned and did in school and at home have a plan that is the most important thing put together an evacuation plan for your family because we all know in school we learned uh fire drills tornado drills some of us if we're old enough remember the um bomb shelter drills that may have taken place in your school um, but it is very important to sit down with your family and put together an evacuation plan in case you have to leave your premises. We all know about bug out bags, ready bags, get home bags, put together a bag of the critical items you may need when you leave your premises. Also, include in your execution and planning important documents of the family important documents of the property you own um, that you can take with you to prove that of course the property is yours you want to make sure that everybody in the family knows the plan if everybody has to leave even if you have to put the items you have um, to evacuate your house with stage them in the garage in tote bags tote bags tote carriers whatever it may take so that you can leave at a moment's notice also execute and practice the plan and see exactly how long it takes you to pack up everything you need to take with you load it in the car and drive off time it practice it learn it let everybody know and very important, don't forget the pets. Plan for the pets as well to take them with you. Put together a, a bug out bag or evac bag, ready bag for your pets of all uh, important items you may need. I'm not gonna go over the contents that you should include in your bug out bag, but the biggest thing is planning and execution. That is critical in an emergency and at a moment's notice when you have to leave your house practice it over and over practice it at least monthly you never know what may happen also check the smoke detectors in your house change the batteries when they start beeping so that if there is a fire your smoke detectors are working adequately in the middle of the night so it will sound the alarm and wake up the family again folks be ready for everything. That is why we prep so that we can handle everything. Do we know everything that may happen? No, but if we're prepared for most situations, especially natural disasters, if you live in a hurricane area that's prone to hurricanes and it's hurricane season, be ready, get your stuff ready and just set it aside so that you can grab it and go and get to safety. For those of us that may live in tornado areas where seasonal tornadoes happen, be ready, practice your tornado drills, practice your evacuation, and make sure that everybody in the family knows. And if you have family members that aren't home, when you have to evacuate the premise, include that in your plan to where all family members will meet. You wanna make sure Make sure that you have all cell phones, ham radio, CBs, whatever means you're going to use to communicate to each other. 
and have multiple items and multiple plans in place in case things do fail. Because we all know technology will fail, not a matter of if it does, it's a matter of when it will fail. So make sure you include that in your evacuation plans, means of communications as well. Also, make sure you have all the items you need. If you know you you may have to leave and be gone for a number of days, include all the provisions and preps that you need to take care of you and your family for an extended period away from your home, as well as food, food for the pets, medication, prescription medication, uh, ID. Make sure that you have pictures of your family members, everybody together in case you do get separated and you're looking for your loved ones because they may have not made it to the designated locations and you may have to go look for them. But folks, it's very important. Practice, plan, and pray. With that, folks, I just wanted to leave you a quick but informative piece of information about please be ready for an evacuation, plan it, and execute it. You can't execute it if you don't plan it. And if you don't practice it, you won't execute it to the best of your ability for you and your family. And remember folks, keep prepping because your family depends on you and it depends on your life. This is Vision Preparedness. God bless everybody. Stay safe and keep on prepping. I'm Trent, and this is Vision Preparedness.